In this video, we are going to discuss about user datagram protocol which is UDP. So, what is user datagram protocol and where it is used? User datagram protocol is a connectionless protocol and this connectionless protocol is used in the transport layer. So, UDP is very simpler and it does only simple functions when compared with TCP which does a complex functions in transport layer. So, you can see the only thing common between TCP and UDP is that they use port numbers to transfer the data. So, here the TCP performs much complex things like reliability or, or reliable data delivery and flow control and also error handling, but UDP does not do these three functions and only do multiplexing or a demultiplexing function only. So, that the UDP is called connectionless protocol and also it is not reliable. It only has a checksum field in the header which the destination will look after the checksum field and know about the integrity of the data sent to it. The UDP header contains only 4 parameters. So, only 4 parameters which is source port information, destination port information, length and checksum fees, checksum field as discussed and it is only 8 bytes in size. So, 8 bytes in size of the UDP header. TCP has a large or a higher overhead with a larger header and acknowledgements. TCP has a higher header and also large header to have some details or acknowledgement information in it. The source also holds data till it receives the information from the destination or acknowledgement from the information. So, the source also holds data that means it holds the, the source after sending the data to the destination, it holds the data till it receives uh, acknowledgement from the destination. Some applications especially those that deal with the voice and video require faster uh, transfer rate so that they take care of the reliability themselves at the application layer. So, here when compared with TCP, the UDP is much lower reliable as it does not perform the three functions that is re reliable data delivery and flow control and error handling. So, that TCP is used more in transport layer for the complex functions it does. So, coming to the next layer internet layer will be discussed in the next videos.